New tonight, common for utility bills to rise during the winter months, but not by thousands of dollars. Customers of Central Hudson say that's just what happened, and now they're stuck with a bill they cannot pay. On News 10's Connell Smith has that story. Ann McPherson lives alone on a small farm in Greene County. Typically, her central Hudson bill, which is budgeted and charged to her landlord, is no more than $350 a month. Until this week, the last bill she got was in November. And then, on Tuesday, her landlord was notified they owe roughly $12,000 for their electric. As Kylie said, I'm not paying a cent, except for what is real. And what's real is roughly 350 in the winter, can be as low as 160 in the summer. McPherson's landlord got five emails from Central Hudson. Each had a different amount due, ranging from as low as $1,800 to as high as $3,000. Putting the five numbers together, you get around $12,343 in charges. You know, there are people who are on welfare um, and people who are on fixed incomes like I am, Social Security. There's no way that we could ever pay that unless they gave us a 60 year payout. Central Hudson has blamed its new billing software as well as a volatile energy market for the significantly high bills some customers may have received. From between January and February, we saw for Central Hudson customers, we saw uh, natural gas prices increase by over 30% and we saw electric prices more than double. And to give you a little background on that, uh, those prices are not set by Central Hudson. Joe Jenkins with Central Hudson says they will not force a customer to pay a bill they feel is inaccurate. If you have concerns with your bill, you're urged to call Central Hudson. And if your bill is incorrect, a new one will be issued. But McPherson says she's tried numerous times to call the company and has not gotten any help. In Greene County, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.